Well, it's Wednesday, and so for Wednesday, we're going to read Luke 13, 6 through 17. He told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. And he said to the vine dresser, Look, for three years now I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and I find none. Cut it down. Why should it use up the ground? And he answered him, Sir, let it alone this year also, until I dig around it and put on manure. And then, if it should bear fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who'd had a disabling spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your disability. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and she glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, said to the people, There are six days in which work ought to be done. Come on those days and be healed, not on the Sabbath day. Then the Lord answered him, You hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or his donkey from the manger and lead it away to water it? And ought not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan bound for eighteen years, be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? As he said these things, all his adversaries were put to shame, and all the people rejoiced at all the glorious things that were done by him. So Jesus tells a parable about a fig tree. Fig tree doesn't bear any figs. Why should it use up space? Let's just get rid of it. And the guy who might not have been doing much about the fig tree anyway says, well, give me another year. I'll fertilize it specifically. And uh, if it doesn't bear any fruit next year, we can cut it down. But, you know, give it a, give it a chance. And Jesus, you know, the parable guy's like, okay, okay, we'll give it a chance. Is God giving us a chance, maybe? Then he goes to the synagogue, and there's a woman there who's, you know, bent over and obviously got all these um, issues in her back, and Jesus says, come here, come here, heals her. And the leader of the synagogue, instead of being glad that this woman is healed— And instead of glorifying God that this woman is healed, starts complaining, you should do this on the other six days of the week. The Sabbath day is not for healing. That's a work. And Jesus is like, oh, you know, you hypocrites. You water your animals on the Sabbath day. That's, That's work. You take them and you lead them to the water hole and you give them water. So why can't I do this for this woman on the Sabbath. It's the same sort of thing. I'm taking care of her the way you take care of your animals. And his uh, opponents are put to shame. You know, well, okay, we can't, they can't really answer him. They're always looking for Jesus to do something like this that they can use to accuse him. See, he just disregards the law. What he disregards is the the uh, application of the law in ways that oppresses the people. There's no reason why this woman can't be healed on the Sabbath, and there's no reason why um, you know she should have to come back tomorrow to get healing. She shouldn't have to suffer a single more minute. And Jesus heals her. Um, so why should? Uh, Why should we use the law that way to oppress this woman or any of these other people that are out there? You know, we can heal them on the Sabbath. That's okay. And that's within the bounds of Jesus' understanding of the law. And people just rejoice because Jesus just does incredible things. Man, he healed this woman and he, you know, he, he teaches the law in a way that frees them from the sort of oppressive interpretation of it that the leaders put on it 
and frees him to, uh, to obey it joyfully. So what God wants is us to obey his, his rules and commandments joyfully, not uh, because we have to, because it's the law, because we'll be punished if we don't. He wants us to rejoice and obey him because he's God. So think about that today. And we will see you uh, tomorrow morning. Have a great Wednesday. See you then.